All right, so I got my Beatles, both of them tucked away for the winter. Both of them have Subaru conversions. This one I finished in the spring. This one I did about 10 years ago, more or less. She's still running. It's about time I get around to putting in the new engine I have for it. But uh, today I'm gonna be pulling the motor out of this thing so I can put the freeway flyer transmission into it. Still running the factory Volkswagen Beetle transmission. It's a EJ251. I just wanted to make a little video of the coolant system. So what I did personally, I got the crossover pipe. I modified it so it just comes up. It's a couple of cuts, turned them, got them welded up into an expansion tank here. And what I do is I just take the cap off. I put the big funnel on top, fill it with coolant, and it just, the system just goes down. And with having the big pipes, lets the air come up through and escape in this big giant pipe here. It's all inch and a half radiator hose, factory Subaru size. And the air will just come up in here and then the coolant will come down out the bottom, kind of hard to see, but it just runs down the bottom over to the radiator that I've mounted in the front. And what I also did, I have an overflow pipe comes out into a mason jar that I've used and it just allows it, once it warms up, the fluid comes up to about here and then when it cools down, the fluid just comes back into the engine slowly and I've ran this a lot this summer. I'm not sure how many kilometers or miles I've put on it, but uh, it's never overheated, no heating issues whatsoever. It stays at about around 180, around there, and that's I'm on the highway, which you know goes up a little bit, probably about to 185. And then when I'm stuck in traffic, then the fans they kick on once in a while if I'm stop and go traffic with some really warm weather. So this is what I did and uh, we'll go to the radiator in the front. Now this being a Super Beetle, it does have the grills in the front here. So it allows air to come in to the grill. And I am completely enclosed the radiator. So it is completely enclosed in here. So I built pretty much just a lower compartment for where the radiator mounts. I got it covered up, it's bolted in. I just unbolted the screws for now, so, so I can show you. So here's the radiator. It's from a Mazda Miata. Width-wise, it fits perfectly. I did have to do a little bit of modification to the, the frame at the bottom, just because where the pipe comes out the bottom there. But the, I had to do some work on the frame head anyway. So while I did it, I just used plate steel nice and strong, not concerned about it whatsoever. But I have two fans, and then the fans are also, the radius completely enclosed, and it's got this shroud on it. So all the air that comes through the radiator gets pushed through and then out the fan, and it's completely sealed around the front. So any air that comes in has to go through the rad. Now air goes around it, over it, under it, it all comes through, and then just gets pushed out and down and out. I have inch and a half pipes again, which is actually what I used was inch and a quarter EMT, which the actual size of it is inch and a half. I'm not sure why they do that, but that's the way they do it. And underneath what I did, is build a tiny little lip. I'm sure you can see it here. It's a small little lip just to catch any little air that comes in through here and flips it up and gets pushed through the radiator. It works great, no problem. I've driven this thing for four hours straight. No overheating issues, nothing. These are the pipes here underneath. They go down, run along there. And those are just radiator fittings the hoses, factory Subaru hoses. I just cut them and used them however I needed. And they just come back up to the engine and come back and forth, just down inside the little channel where the 
body bolts are. It just rests inside the channel. And I have a few clips here that come around and bite into it. Now, another thing I did is I did use a water pump from a turbo Subaru. It has the mount or the opening for the thermostats faces, I guess would be the back of the beetle. So I can run the pipe out so it doesn't hang down too low. So it just gave me room when I built my header so it doesn't have to worry about clearance issues. And just came out, wrapped it down. This is metal pipe here. I'm not sure if you can see, but the pipes come down, wrap around and go down the, down the side of the car there where the body bolts go from the floor pan to the rocker panel. And same on this side, the pipes come down. This pipe here goes up into my expansion tank, comes down and same thing wraps down and out to the front for the radiator. And that's it. I just used a hand bender, inch and a quarter bender to bend the conduits. Works great. So hopefully this helps anybody that's looking into doing coolant, coolant uh, pipes and stuff for their, uh, their Subaru conversion on their Volkswagen Beetle. Now this one here being the regular Beetle, it doesn't have the grill in the front, but what I did do, it's not much, but the little uh, inspection plate here that you remove when you gotta pull the shift rod out. I just put a little Volkswagen symbol there. So it lets a little bit of air out. And then again, same as the other one, I have a little scoop. Scoop pushes air up through the radiator. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, and this one here is actually a uh, EJ22. I have a few other videos of this Beetle on the dyno. It was dyno at 301 wheels horsepower. So yeah, it puts out a little extra heat than, uh, than the naturally aspirated one, but uh, it works great in this car as well. Running 17 pounds of boost. The engine in uh, the other Beetle, it's an EJ22 turbo, closed deck block, running uh, EJ25D heads, dual overhead cam heads. So I had to put these little uh, cups in, call them a little baby A cups. But same thing, we have the modified crossover pipe comes up into an expansion tank, out the bottom of the expansion tank, out to the front of the rad, and then comes back out, down the other side of the car, runs along there, over into the water pump. And again, same thing, I have a little overflow bottle. This time I used a uh, skull bottle. So hopefully this helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.